Yeah. All done? Yeah. Alright, cool. Um, are you tired today or not too bad? I am quite tired. I yeah, fell asleep last tired. night at like. I kept falling asleep from like, fair, I started falling asleep at four o'clock. I, I, I know you have been, uh, you've been up early today as well. Um, necessarily going to do loads. I think from what happened last time, because um, the other day you you were a bit blow par, really, with yeah. your driving, weren't you? Okay, which is not a problem. It's no issue. Just try not to sort of like let that get you down. There are peaks and troughs all the time with learning to drive um, and I know you can do a little bit better than that what was the main thing we were working Licking, with looking where we were steering that's a must isn't it it is a must it's an absolute must when you do look far um, you do a real good job with it you work out how sharp it is who's coming what speed what gear you need you do all your prep on the way in when you don't look you're preoccupied with your steering so much that it then detracts from your observation work that you need to do. Yeah. So that's the main thing that I'd like you to try and reconfigure, reconfigure, if you could speak properly, your brain little into doing. Okay. Remember that that area that we see over the bonnet is not close to the car, is it? No. The nearest piece of tarmac that we see is approximately one car length away. Yes. Yeah but you have to have that in mind when you're doing stuff because I still think that you look out there and think things are really close yeah they're not we've got to, yeah we've got to be looking down the side to do your turns alright with that? yeah we're going to keep it pretty simple at the start do you think that would be a good shout? yeah yeah if you're starting to get a bit tired um, you don't even have to tell me I should be able to pick up that you're a bit tired and not doing things and we're not going to um, flog you today if you are tired and a little bit blow par. I, I want to keep the confidence up a little. All right, mm -hmm. so we're just going to play it by a, by ear. Um, again, we're not going to go out for ages and ages and ages. We're really just picking you up from work, but we will do a little bit of practice on the way back. Yeah. Ready to go? Yeah. Go on, then. start your motor. <clears throat> Good. Now, before we go, um, air conditioning's on and it's on cool are you okay with that temperature wise yes yeah. sound um relax your foot a second is there anything go forward a little bit. okay super that's fine try it again try your clutch again make sure that's okay is that better yeah and what do you need to check before we uh what you like with that yeah pretty good to be fair maybe a little yeah in in yeah maybe a little close will go any further a little bit that's a bit better isn't it yeah. Like your mirrors as well. Yeah. Check them all. Middle mirror as well. Yeah, if you need to move it, move it. Okay with that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, before we go, is there anything that you want me to explain about where to look to steer, or is it? No, I think it's pretty self explanatory. It is, isn't it? Come on, let's work, let's go. Alright. Where are you going? Which way Where are you going? Where are we going? Yeah. This way. Mm -hmm. Should I tell people? Your call, whatever you think. Yeah. It's not a problem. If there's people about, there's no issue with putting a signal on as long as it's not misleading to people. Right. Cool. Excellent. What should we do with these people? Stay on our side of the road though. But just adjust your speed. Nice job. We're gonna turn left and then left again, please, Aaron. So where are you gonna be following the curb? Around this side. Near my mirror. No, try not to turn yet. Keep straight. Keep straight. Get looking both ways. Go slow a little bit. Go slower a little bit to look at both. You're not. Do you understand? Look mm -hmm. at your position to your curve. Oh, quite far out. What's this guy doing? Going. Okay. So you have to go slower, Aaron. Okay. You've got to change your speed. Okay. Where are you looking? That way and that way. This way, not forward. It's irrelevant. Come on, move around this curve. Go slowly. Around this curve. You're looking that way. This way. Here. 
good. Go a little bit slower, start looking right and left. And assess whether we're going towards this curve or away from it. What do you think? Away. Away? We're not. Towards it. A little bit. Okay, super. You're still looking that way rather than this way. You can't look where you point, Erin. You've got to look where you're going. It's really important. All right, come on. Work at this today. Roundabout, we're going to turn right. Well done. What's what? Cool. How are you looking? Are you looking forward? It's not left that we're interested in. It's right. Who do you give way to? No, no. What about the four-wheel drive then? You don't know where they're going. Now you do. You have to slow. You're looking in the wrong direction. Up where the red or the red maroony car is. Is that where we're going? Yeah. Right turn at the lights. Now that thumb gripping the steering wheel is still a big deal. We've got to try and change that today a little bit. Are the oncoming traffic moving? No. <coughs> You're looking at the wrong way, Aaron. That's oncoming. No. Therefore, what should we do? Go. Second gear in now. Come on, you've got to get thinking now. You've got to get working at what you actually need to look at rather than just being scared of things now. All right, what's happening to the road up ahead? Forget the gear, all right, go for the gear, but, but I was asking you a question on something that's going on, oh, and you're just changing. The road was narrowing two lanes oh. into one. Okay. Get aware rather than just changing gear. Okay. All right, it's not about just changing gear. Okay. Am I allowed to go in the bus lane? Yeah, it's not a bus lane anymore. There are no signs saying that it's a bus lane. I know it's a little bit confusing. How are you going to deal with the bus, Aaron? He, I'm going to go around it, because he's still indicating that way. So I'm going to look out and then I'm going to indicate, I'm going to go. And look at the speed that you're at. You've got here and you've dealt with it then. Cancel the signal. After the silver car, we're coming back into the left lane. Check it out and come back in now. Yeah. You can't get there. And then do And it. then start okay. thinking about things. Okay. Yeah? Come on, we've got to get planning. Now, this set of traffic lights, Mm -hmm. We're going to go left, please. Okay. We don't need to slow yet, Erin. Keep going. So, what's your plan? Good. Now, start slowing and look how sharp it is and pick your appropriate gear before we get here. Good. Right. Get working then. Now, it's not forward we should be looking. Should be looking round the railings and up. Over there. And up past the red car. And that was great. That was really good worked well. <coughs> Excuse me, joking. It worked really well, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Cool. What have you picked up from the first little bit? What do you mean? Uh, just any little bits that you think that you, you need to work with. Um, How come we're slowing down, Aaron? I don't know. Come on. Concentrate. Am I allowed to drive in this bit? But That's a good question. Do you know what this area is? Part Parking spaces. area, all right. Um, is there anyone about? No. So would it matter if you drove in this area? No. No? Okay. Would it matter if you were out of it with the cars behind? Pardon? Would it matter if you were out of it with the cars behind? No. No, there you go. So it didn't really matter. Not a problem. Go around where the centre line would be. You're not. You're going straight across because you're steering away from it. Okay. You can't steer away from where you point. We're going to have a little go at a roundabout. Mm -hmm. We're going to go ahead. What lane will we need? The left. Good. Second junction, we don't signal left yet. Who's behind us? A bus. What are you thinking about your speed and gear? Yeah. You're I'm just looking forward. You're just looking forward. A bus. You're just looking forward, Aaron. Slower. Slower. You're now going to hit the curve. You've got to follow my left curve now. Follow my left curve. Follow it. Steer around. More, more, more. Now, first gear. Stop. This car's coming, Aaron. Come on. You've got to multitask more. Which is the last one we're waiting for? The red one. No, the silver, that one. That, no. We're going to go now. No. The silver one's coming. Creep now to go after the silver one. Off we go, Aaron. Where are you looking? Are you looking forward or are you looking... You weren't. You were looking on the floor. Aaron, we're going oh, ahead. Oh, Come on. <laughs> Signal left. Second gear in. And look around. <laughs> it's because you look at the floor. You look where you point, and it ruins stuff, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah? Come on. Now, this set of lights, we're going to turn left, please. Get that clutch back up. Good. Now, what's your plan with this? No 
mirror signal manoeuvre. Clutch down, lower gear. Come on, where are you looking? Around and up. Okay, come on. Now, who's coming down the other way? Nobody. Silver car is. Yeah. Come on, look a little further. And look at the space that we're going to have available. Is there much? Yeah, behind this black one. Try and look at the space available rather than just thinking you've got to steer out of the way of the oncoming ones. The space is actually good for us to continue, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at the space. Good. Well done. Wicked. And what we're going to do, we're going to find somewhere suitable that we can park in. What's your plan? After this blue one. Very good. That's perfect. That's really good. Do we need to tell anyone? Yeah. No. You look. You decide. No. Fine. It's okay then. Get slower before we get there. Now, will we have enough momentum? What will you need to do with the gear then? One. Now we're rolling back. Stop. You needed to do that before you get there. You can't run out of momentum and then think about what you need to do. You've got to think about it on the way in. Now, how do you stop yourself rolling? Because we're going to move up by the tree. Good. Stop a sec. Brake. You've not looked. Put your handbrake back on again, Erin. Come on, get looking. Mm -hmm. You've got to look before you move. Come on, work. Okay. Just parking in and get straight. Eyes up, not lifting your chin, looking at the floor. Okay, better. Good, secure your car. All right, relax, chill. Roundabout, what went on? I went down there. Mm. As you steered on to the roundabout to the left hand side, you again looked where your car was pointing, and that's in your mindset where you wanted to go. Can't be like that. You mm -hmm. have to look around things. Yeah. When you're coming onto a roundabout, just turn your car off a little second. I'm just going to grab out my um, iPad. I'm just going to try and give you an idea of um, this. Okay, roundabouts. When you're coming on to roundabouts, you need to follow what I call the inside of the bend. So here's a roundabout, and this is us going ahead. Mm -hmm. The first thing that you need to do is to follow this left bend to come onto the roundabout. Yeah, that's going to take you round, isn't it? Do you remember what I was saying to you on that roundabout? Follow the left bend, steer around, steer around, steer, get the steer this way, look this way. Mm -hmm. Alright, because as you come up to this point, you're getting fixed on these cars this side. Okay, it needs to be sooner than that, you've got to try and be. Um, assessing what's happening earlier so you know if there's cars and then when you know you've got to slow down you're following then the left bend. So when you come on to the roundabout then you're in this position to the left side and what you did is that you looked here and thought you wanted to take that mm -hmm. road in front of you. But even though there's not always a centre line we need to be following the imaginary centre line at that point. So your eyes go from the left to begin to go around the left curve, the centre line to go around and while you're on the roundabout so when you're here you shouldn't be looking in this area, you should be looking up here. Alright, to follow that imaginary line. That's then going to get your car heading around that side and when it is set like that you then steering wheel is set to hold your wheel still so you can check your mirror, not grab with your thumb and put your left signal on to then head off. And at this point you need to be prepping and looking at that corner, the left kerb because that's what you need to be following to come off. 
if that all makes yeah. sense. So it's all down to where you look, because you look in the wrong places constantly, that's when it becomes a massive scramble to you, all right? You're sort of behind where you need to be all the time. Um, because you look where your car is, you're then very reactive to it. And you've got to try and even steer looking into the future, not where your car is. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Happy with that? Mm -hmm. Cool. Should we go and give it a go? Yeah. Come on. Positive. Let's mm -hmm. go. Let's work. Good. Start us up. Are we going to roll if I turn it on? What do you think? Possibly. Why would turning it on then make us roll? I don't know. Parking brake's still on. Okay. You ready to move? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Cool. Do you think that guy there was looking like he was potentially crossing the road? I just wasn't looking at him. Okay, you need to see it. It's not just cars that you're looking to to signal to move off or not. Okay. All right, remember what we said in the car park. If you're in doubt, if there's movement, put a signal on, but as long as it's not misleading to anyone. Okay. All right, a good signal should only ever mean one thing. All right. Should we um, go and have a little go at a few of these roundabouts? Yeah. Yeah, okay, super. Nice speed, nice position. Well done. You still got tomorrow off? Yeah? I don't know if the shops normally Sainsbury's shut on um bank holiday Sunday. Hmm. I don't know if they are this is a bit of a different circumstance, isn't it? So yeah, I don't it know it. But their working week starts on a Sunday rather than a Monday. I see. So I won't know until I'm working next Sunday, probably midweek. Fair play. Um, end of the road, we're going to turn left, it's at this crossroad, please. Well done, which other mirror? You don't need to look at your gears, Aaron. You need to look at what's going on. Put a left signal on. Left, not right. Left, Aaron. Just get to the giveaway and stop. Handbrake on. Put it in first. You have to do things with observation out, not in the car. Yeah. All right? Just look both ways, go slow. You look, you're not looking left at all. You're just staring to the right and staring left. Can't be like that, Erin. Okay. All right, you've got to look where you're going and you've got to go slower to look both ways. Mm -hmm. Try again, end of the road, leave it in first. End of the road, turn left. I'd like you to look right and left as much as each other. So right and left, you haven't looked left yet. Stop a second at the line, stop at the line. Stop at the line. Cool, put your handbrake on, there's no one behind. Looking over the front is not looking left. Okay. It's that way and this way. Mm -hmm. That way and this way. Every second, swap. Right, left, right, left. Go on, when it's clear we'll go. Stop. You didn't. You're just staring to the right again, Aaron, as you're going. Okay. Stop a second, put your handbrake on. Do you understand where I'm mm -hmm. coming from? Right, left, right, left. Come, mm -hmm. get going and look both ways as you're doing it. Every second, look the other way. Good. Right and left, right and left, right and left. Look at the good position you came into. You've got to stop your brain being stubborn. Your brain saying, stare at the cars. And it's not like that have to look both ways. Every single time that you get a steering wrong, it's because you're looking in the wrong place to do it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Come on. Okay, so we've got a couple of roundabouts, we're going to have a little practice. We're going to go ahead at each of them. So which lane should be okay for each of them? So we know we should be staying in the left unless there's any issues. That's okay, isn't it? Okay. Remember what we said on the diagram about following left curb to go on, centre line to go round, left curb to come off. Well done. That was great. Do we need to slow though? No. No? Okay. Try and look to see what we need to do rather than slowing as we look. Keep going. Come on. Roundabout, we're going to go ahead. This one, if you look at the sign, how many exits are there to go ahead? 
You're choosing gears. I'm not sure why, Erin. Yeah. I've got no idea why you're choosing a gear. You told me to, to turn to a gear. I was going to go around the corner before I get there. I know, but you haven't looked. You've chosen yeah, a gear. Yeah, I know what gear this is going to be. Do you? Yeah. You haven't we looked did it yet. last time. So you did it last time. So the cars yeah. are exactly the same. Put no, it in no. first gear. Good. Now, when's it going to be clear? Last car. After this one. We should have been creeping already, but try and look around the back of the roundabout, the grey car. Creep now. If that grey one goes in our road, we wait for them. If it comes past, we go after. Good. You're going across the centre line again, Aaron, because you're looking forward. Look round and look up. Now you're going on the line again. Got to go round it. Left signal. Come on. Look round. Look round. Okay. We'll have a little think about what you said about the gear. I sort of get your mindset, but it's not like that. Okay, keep going. You doing much with the gears? You going any faster? No. Come on. Every single roundabout is not the same. Just because you did second gear last time doesn't mean it's going to be the same this time. You've got to look. It's really important. Okay? Roundabout ahead. This one's the third junction. So when do we signal? I don't know. Near the third one? After the second one. Who's behind? Gently slow. And get looking to see how sharp it is and what gear you're going to choose. Pick it now on what you're seeing. Is there a space at all? Yeah. What side do we keep? Now, look around the white line. Don't go over it, just go round it. Good, hold the wheel still, relax your hands. Less gas, put a left signal on now, and now go around my kerb, that way. Your hands have got to move rather than like that. Move them, work them. Roundabout, straight on again, same lane. Follow the inside of the bends, who's coming? So, what position's the taxi and where do you think he's going to go from there? Around. Therefore, go. follow your left kerb. Now, you must follow the central white line, round there. When's it enough? About there. Good. Now, we're following my left line here to keep round to the left side, but we're going there. Now, follow the central line, signal down, nailed it. Off we go. Good. Nice job. Good. We're going to get a little further and we're going to find somewhere to park and go over the good stuff there. Mm -hmm. That was loads better. Good. Go on. Okay, Road's clear. Park. Road's clear. Keep going for a bit. I'll tell you. Don't worry. We're going to go past these lights and actually round the corner a little before we park. Yeah. All right. We could have parked in one of these little areas, probably not near this junction bit or near the... Uh, the bus stop, but we're going to go somewhere a little safer, a bit further up. All right. What's your thoughts and what's your your plan with the lights? What should we be thinking? Stop. So go slower then. Could it be uh, us going shortly? Yeah. Clutch down, lower gear. Follow the bend. Come on, you've got to plan more, Erin. You have to think before you get there. You cannot just get there and react off things. Come on, work. Good. Eyes up the road. Keep off the cycle area. It's not very uh, well marked. It is a little further up. There you go. It's a solid line. Leave the gear. Now third. Why do you think I told you to do that at that point? In case I need to do the that house. No, light's changing. You don't want to be changing gear into problem and into risk. You've got to look and plan to do these. We're going to find somewhere to park as the road splits out to the left-hand side. So keep going for a bit. Have a look first. So use around. Nobody about the white guy there. Need to tell anyone? Yes, yes. pedestrians. So just in this little bit to the left is fine. Keep rolling. Keep rolling until we've finished the steer. Remember, we have to keep moving until we finish the steer. It was a little bit easier downhill that time rather than the uphill one before, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Relax. Any questions? No. The roundabouts, 
they got a little bit better after the yeah. first to the second to the third and so on good the last one that we did it was a funny shape as well wasn't it mm -hmm. did you see as we were doing it though what i was talking about about the imaginary center line that you've got to follow yeah and it's sort of like coming out where we live i always say coming out of our estate yeah follow the cen center imaginary line to go around things mm -hmm. when you look where you point you don't see enough do you understand the point i know you i get where you're coming from that we did second gear last time on the other roundabout but do you understand now in hindsight that's yeah it's not right is it it can't mm -hmm. be um, because each time that you do that roundabout it's different because there could be different cars at different points at different speeds so you have to observe and treat every roundabout on its own merits so just get looking a little more um, honestly that's a good improvement should we go off and do a couple more yeah yeah okay cool um, what bit do you think you can probably be trying to take off me at this point and trying to do of your own accord I don't know. What part do you think? What do you reckon? I what, don't know. What, what bit have we been working on? Looking. Looking. I think you can do a few more of those on your cell by yourself or on your own. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You get hacked off with yourself really quick, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, don't need to, alright? You can't just expect driving just to be done and finished, alright? Um, you've got to work at it. It's a, it's a difficult skill sometimes. But there's some good improvement there with the roundabouts. Come on, keep positive. I know it was quite difficult after last time, but just don't forget what caused the problematic lesson that we had last time was the same sort of thing that we're working with today, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, come on, get working. Should we drive? Mm-hmm. Go on. Off we go. Can I signal anyway? Um, don't because signal anyway. But because what, I don't, I can't actually see the cars again at once. So I will see them. They come. Are we? Is it affecting anyone? No. Look properly rather than just signalling. No, the people Good. don't look like they're going to be a problem. Go on then, carry on. Keep watching. Is the cyclist an issue? No, they're no. okay. Should we get going? Yeah. Come on then. Use your feet more, Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> you just keep it still. Come on. Good. Now. Traffic lights, we're going to turn right, please, Aaron. Okay. That way. Can I go into that lane? You should be thinking, but there, there's cars around within overtaking distance, so you need to signal. You've got to be aware of people. It's really important, yeah? Who's around? You're drifting. You can't grab with that hand. Well done, good. Your hands need to relax. Do you understand the point with the signal there? Yeah. All right, concentrate on just stopping. Do you understand what I mean about the signal back there yeah. with the cars around? I do. Okay, mm -hmm. good. There are two lanes going round to the right. Mm -hmm. Put it in first gear now. We have to follow the imaginary cent centre line to go around. Yeah. So yeah, I get you. It's not steering away from them. It's going around there. You think there's two lanes going round. There is the remnants of an old marking yeah, so on the left hand side. Yes, arrow. good, 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 good. You've got it. So, accelerate as well. And try and set your steer. How much steer? When's it finished? A little more with your right hand then on. And now straighten back up. Second gear in when you can. That was good. Hold on. The steering help there reaching up and pulling down remember now we've covered up covered that haven't we yeah so we shouldn't be pushing up with the left hand there to do the right steer we should be pulling down with the right okay pretty good that well done try not to steer away Aaron look in your right mirror at the room that you have with that white line right. and that exactly so you're seeing that van and the car and going I don't like them I'm going over there should we change gear with the lights gas come on let's go now up to fourth come on you've got to listen to your engine you've got to work it and you start doing these things and changing gear when you need to you've got to start improving now come on work now should we be catching this black one in front no. coming in towards the lights 
Will we need a gear coming in towards a set of red lights? Yes, first. No. Look how far we're back in the queue. Come on, no. we've done loads of work on planning, Erin. You have to start putting this into practice now. Leave the gear. No. <laughs> you're, neutral. You're obsessed with them. Just stop. Handbrake. Neutral. You don't need neutral before you've stopped. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You're obsessed with the gears. Get obsessed with your observational work. Get obsessed with looking. Because that's the thing that's going to tell you what to do. Okay. Not doing stuff. Yeah? Going left or straight? No, just straight. Remember the five second countdown that we've done a few lessons back? Are you sitting here thinking of this? Come on, work on the things that we've worked on. Oh my goodness. You should be doing that a little bit better by now. Come on, you know how to deal with these start-offs. You know what to do with your foot. Come on, what's your road like? Your eyes are on the floor. Come on, eyes up. Change what you're doing with your car to suit all the way from here to the red lights. That's better. Good, well done. Nice job. Still try and relax your hands to get the gears. You still pull the wheel. Now, at the second set of traffic lights, not these, the further set, we're turning right. Well done. Just press your pedal more, Aaron. Press it more and look far. Less brake a bit now. Look far, because you've gone in here. Because you look on the floor coming in, you look at the angle of that white line and steer over this what way. What set of lights? You can't see them yet. Oh, okay. All right. Well, while we're sat here. Good, leave the gear, relax, plan. So at the second set of lights, we're turning right. Why have I told you that now, do you think? So I can go into that lane when there's space. Brilliant, how much is coming out from this side? Not a lot. <laughs> So, good, come on, get thinking then, well done, good. And slow and smoother with the clutch until we're off. Then accelerate, it's your right foot, doesn't work well enough. Needs to work more, you've got to be using your pedals more, not lifting the clutch up quicker. There's no in the world that was a good time. No in the world, you have to look, Erin. It's not just doing something, yeah? Did you notice what you did with the Asta van? No. You made him go, oh God, they're coming out. Next gear, Aaron. Next gear, Aaron. Mirror, signal, manoeuvre. Come on. Let's get a little bit sharper with this stuff now. Come on. You've got to raise the bar a bit now. Now, traffic lights were turning right. Try and get the wheel set. Hold with the right hand. Lessen with that. And put the signal on. Good. We didn't move across to that side that time. Better, wasn't it? What's going on with your junction? You should be in should be over there, you're just pointing at the back of the Asda van. You should have gone in and straight. Come on, it's not the floor. Come on. Do we need the gear? The handbrake's more important. Watch and observe, come on. What are you thinking? Tell me now what you're thinking about what you're doing. I think it's gonna go in a minute. Good, go for it then. That's better. Good. And there's a big gap, isn't there? Is that cyclist going to be potentially a problem to you over there on the right? Yes. Very well, did I? Uh, it was difficult that one. With the lights changing now, do you think it could be someone different? Yeah. You're just launching that clutch up, Aaron. That's not how you go quicker. Where have you finished your steer? Not yet, have you? No. So we'll get the gear now. Why is it important to give this private high driver more room? Because he might pull out. I hmm. don't think so with him talking to the fella, but um, people get out of private eye cars quite a bit, don't they? Yeah. Do you understand where I was coming from with that signal with the Asda van that's now in front of us coming yeah. up as well? Yeah. That's why you have to check first to see where people are to time your signal correctly. You can never get into a habit of just putting a signal on. It's 
really important yeah? yeah you've got to look first and see what's going on to time each signal correctly this bus lane we can't use okay. and if you look further up you were just going to go into the bus and rail interchange weren't you hmm? don't know what I'm talking about half the time because you look at the floor and you, that lane just went in there that was it oh. come on eyes up good you have to pick your eyes further off the floor to have an idea of what I'm talking about sometimes yeah mm -hmm. this is the key to you fixing this not looking at the floor not looking at the piece of tarmac in front of you. That's good, you're observing nicely round at the junction now, good. What do you think? Maybe after that one, no, hmm. there's another one going That's on. It's good, it's a perfect mindset though, that's better. Mm. Oh. So, yep, someone different, good, don't rush now, take your time. Plenty of gas and slow with your clutch until now you can lift it. Good, when your wheel still for a second? No. Get it. Where are you looking? Round. You actually weren't though, you were looking over the front. And when you did look round, did it? Yeah? Where'd you follow now? This way. But far up. We don't want to go away from that line, we just want to get enough steer on just to hold it and just follow the shape of that road. All right, good. Hold on. If you wish, yeah. Good. Nicely done. We're too close because you're obsessing with those speed bumps, Aaron. It's the distance to the parked cars, which is the main thing, rather than worrying about the speed bumps, remember. A kid is not going to run out from behind a speed bump. do from behind the van so give the van a little more room nice how much space is going to be here Shareable. yes good that's lovely nice job cool that's cool he could have been a danger he could have been couldn't he Turning up by a bad racetrack or going straight Just yet, yeah, there's just a, another little roundabout and a couple of things I just want you to have a little go up before we're back. Yeah, Alright. So forget the speed bump, Erin, get round the car safely. Good. I'd rather you bump over the speed bumps. And now which mirrors to come back, you're good. Do we need to slow now though? No. no. While you're doing things, try and listen and manage your speed. That's how you should be managing it. Remember, we got the cloth out and put it over the speed at one point, didn't we? Yeah. Now, around the corner we have a mini roundabout coming up. Mm -hmm. We're gonna turn right, which is that way. Help mm -hmm. you with your rights and lefts, that's fine. But who do you give way to? I'm coming. No, you give way to the right on roundabouts. Have a listen to that engine, what could that do with? Keep going for now, Aaron. Get scanning, because you're just a little bit slow. Yeah? Get scanning. Keep going. So, hold the wheel with your right hand and signal with your left. Better. Who do you give way to? The right. Yes. Not oncoming. They give way to us, because we're turning right. Could you stop if someone came? Yeah. However, not. where do we look now? Where uh -huh. those bollards are? You're going faster, though. Relaxed. And now squeeze your gas. Better. Because your hands still grip way too tight, that's why your feet aren't as subtle as they need to be. You've got to try and relax, and that will come from picking your eyes up. Remember, it's not tucking it in that line, it's being safe from the cars. If you're not happy to go around the car safely, you don't go. Okay. Good. Road now? Clear. Okay. Eyes away from looking down at those speed bumps. Just have a little glance at this one now to line it up. Now ignore it and look up the road. Fine. Good. Eyes around there. Good. Look really far. Distance to the parked ones. Space. Have a listen to that engine. 
multitasking it's doing many of these little things that we've all done before and putting them all together now isn't it yeah good distance to the silver one what's your road like up there <laughs> good well done no nope. it's not worth it look at the lights Hands must relax and try and reach for those steers. What's the best thing to do here? Put the hand back off. On. No, slow. Clutch down, put it in first. Gas and bite and creep. Creep. How did you know that? Squeeze, because there's no cars coming the other way, Erin. It's dead obvious. We've talked about it. How could you see there's no cars coming? Because there was no cars coming. <laughs> You just weren't looking at it. Good. Eyes up. When you're going to get your wheel set. Good. Well done. Off we go. And follow where now? Central white line. Now your attention's further up to my left curve. Don't go towards it. Follow it. And then round to straighten up that side. Good. Now what's the road like? Clear. Go on in. Bit more. So follow that white line. Now your attention's up and to the left side. Keep going, Erin. You don't need to slow. Come on, Erin, go faster. It's clear. Up to your next gear. Onto it. Good. What's that white and black sign mean? I didn't see it. National speed limit. Come on. You have to look up, not at the floor, not at the road surface, not at the tarmac. How much room can we give the cyclist? Is the loads, can you go virtually all the way into the other lane and give him all of it? Brilliant. Hands still need to relax though. You've got to learn to pass that wheel round rather than throwing it round. Come on. Traffic lights, I'm going to turn right. How close are people? When are you going to time that signal? Good. What's your thoughts? Right and left, not the floor. It's a waste of time. Look, good. Roll us in there. We don't need to do anything there. We can just slow, can't we? Good. We're we quite close to this curb. We are quite close. Yeah. You needed to be glancing at that okay. to see where your position was as well. All right. So, go on then. Get it into gear then. Good. And make sure when we go, we just have a little turn away. Good. With oncoming traffic moving. No. Get going then, Erin. Look far. Come on, get accelerating. Come on, look far. And your steering wheel still. Oh. No. You have to look far to encourage yourself to get going as well, don't you? Yeah, it's all down to it. And that looking at that piece of tarmac on the floor ruins everything. Yeah. Good. When we get your eyes up like they are now, everything flows. But when your eyes come back close, it's then reactive, and that's when you get a bit of a job on with yourself, when you don't do things as well as you should, all right? Hold on, how does that parked van affect what we do? It does. Do we need to even slow? No. Glide around it. Uh, have you got loads of room to give it? Mm -hmm. Give it loads then. Brilliant. Use all the space if you've got it. If there's no one there, use it. It's never an issue. Good. We good to carry on? Crossing okay. Yeah, well done. Do you think you could be um, really prejudiced and say that type of driver can be placed with that type of car. What do you think? Who's overtaking us? Nobody. Do you think that's right to do things like that with, with certain people in the car? So it's not, it's not right to be a pessimist, do you think? A bit of a controversial one. But I always say, think the worst of people, as long as you don't say it out loud. Yeah. I didn't say it, you did. Exactly. So, what were you hesitating for there? In case he came out. Ah, uh, but what was your hesitation telling him to do? Go out. I have the problem. You needed to be a bit more positive there. 
okay. So if you think the worst of a learner driver, think they might be hesitant, and think they might stall, great, accommodate them. If you think that the private hire driver might pull out in front of you, even if you were a little bit more positive there, you drive accordingly. There's nothing ever wrong with being a pessimist. And it's it sounds a bit prejudicial, but it's not in the car. You can think the worst and then you're never, ever surprised, okay? Do you reckon I should put it back to neutral because the you green should have light the handbrake is still on. on. Neutral, yeah. You're obsessed with those gears. Mm -hmm. It's not the gears. No, it's about observing, it's about seeing. Sound. But well done, loads better today. Straight to accelerating. Better, Aaron. Well done. You cannot be scared of that right foot now. You have to learn how to operate your car in surroundings that we're coming up to. Clutch is too fast. You just launch it. It's not how to use it. You know how to use it. Cool. What's your plan down at the bottom? Past the lights. Well, we merge into one lane, don't Keep we? the gas going. What do you need to know if we're merging? Who's behind me and who's just next a to me? Bit, it's just a bit late to look. You should have been planning that sooner. Yeah. Okay, it was safe, but do you see where I'm coming from? Yeah. Okay. Who's coming out of co-op? Nobody. Slow then. Come on, slow. What should we be doing? Good. Come on, plan. Not just the back of the grey BMW in front of you. Yeah, come on. position to my side because you're just drifting away a little and you have to be at a speed where you could still stop if there was any issues that side as well good this set of traffic lights turn left we can't indicate yet no. can we so keep going for a bit and can we indicate no. good Sharps your corner, will it idle in second? No, you're going for first break then. Use your brake then, use your brake. First gear. Not stopped, Aaron. Not stopped, Aaron. It's dangerous. You're giving way, Aaron, there. You're looking to the wrong side. It's a set of traffic lights. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's a good job the van behind was switched on to what we were doing. We've got the L plate showing on the top. You cannot just get there and stop. Okay. You have to understand how these things work, yeah? Okay, uh, we are taking the road on the left over the bridge. Good. Nice. And then we're taking the second left as well. Where's the van from? You following you? Yes. Okay. Brake's the key, not the gear. The brake gives you time to change gear. How much brake? When have you done with it? Gas and bite that. Where should we try and look? Lean and look around. More steering. Under your hands. Good. Nice job. The Follow the central white off where the centre line would be rather than thinking of the gears. You're looking at the floor. If someone came, you'd be, ah, well, I would have to react. You cannot just escape and look at the floor. You have to look far, Aaron. Really, really important. Round where the central line goes. Far. Move your hands until it's set. Done. Hands, left hand should be up here a bit now. You have to learn to reach for it rather than just having them at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Right turn. Not floor. Clutch down then. Really slow. Gas and bite and creep. Right, left, right, left, right, left. You still surge off. You have to learn to go slower to give yourself a chance to steer. Yeah? And you're appearing over the front. Come on. Improvement today though with that. It's not natural though, is it? No. Where to look. Okay, and you can just look around your corner. Round though those bushes. Good. Just position us towards the path. We need to go slower than idle. What did you do though? 
I don't know. We were at idle and I said, do we need to go slower than idle? Yeah. And you press the brake. Yes. What's that going to do? Make it struggle. Move us forward a little. Just creep. No, you don't need to change gear. We're already in gear. Good. Finish the steer. Just go a little further forward. A little bit more. That's fine. Cool, secure your car. Now, big ear, relax. Turn your car off. Turn your car off. What have you picked up? What have you learned? Roundabouts. Roundabouts. What have you um, learned with roundabouts? When to put the signal on. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think that's the main thing that we've dealt with today. No, where to look. Where to look. Yes. Okay. Who to prepare for. Hmm. Um, following the inside of the bend, remember I got the iPad out and showed mm -hmm. you round to the left to go round to the left and then round the central line to go round to the right and then round to the left to leave as well. Um, how was your performance at the start of the lesson? How would you say? Not great. Um, I thought it was okay. It dropped off a little bit. You got a little bit of a cob on with yourself with the first couple of roundabouts, which is understandable, but um, you don't need to, to be fair, Aaron. You've got to try and work harder at addressing faults and problems that you've got rather than worrying about performance it's not an issue about doing things wrong i'll have a moan at you when you're not doing things you should be doing okay not the fact that you've done something wrong what was your performance like towards the end of the lesson a bit better it was improved wasn't it all right i thought you'd actually kept your concentration pretty good with that today as well um where do you think or what do you think we should be doing next time what do you reckon? I don't know. Not sure? No. Do you think that steering's still something that affects loads of stuff? Yeah. It does, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Because that's the bit that I have to get involved with constantly because that instinct to look down and forward um, isn't there yet. We just need to just batter that, if I was honest. Yeah. I think that's the key to doing. Cool. Cheers, Aaron. Thank you.